Oh, good morning. It's a beautiful, brisk morning. It's about 6.30 a.m. and I'm up at Mount Rainier National Park for my annual about third week in July trek up to the Panhandle Gap so I can check out the snow conditions and report on uh, that part of the Wonder One Trail. Last week I was on the west side, on the west side road, and hit some trails up there and ran into snow at about 5,100 feet. We can compare this year, which is also a high snow year, to last year, which was quite a bit of snow. It seems unfair that a lot of the rest of the country is suffering uh, severe drought conditions, and here I am at 49 degrees with flowing water everywhere in the Pacific Northwest. Talking about snow, but uh, that's the vagaries of weather. Okay, here's my setup this year. And it's counterweighted with another mount on the bottom. Well, this part of the trail going up to Wonderland is always a wonderful forest walk. A very pleasant trail. Unlike last year when I stopped and reported on snow levels almost immediately, essentially we can sum it up this way. All the way to the bridge, there were just a few scattered uh, patches of snow, which you'll see here in a few minutes. And uh, really, you could avoid most of it. There's hardly anything to walk on. So the snow conditions are uh, much lower this year at the same time than they were last year. When I stopped to film this bridge last year, there was more than five feet of snow on the trail on either side. I'd venture to say that most of the snow will be gone in a matter of days. It's very, very thin. Well, I've been on snow for a little bit, maybe for 100 to 200 feet. Um, this is actually where the trail branches off and switchbacks up, right over here. And I think what I'm going to do, there seems to be enough snow still left, although it's getting pretty thin. And I'm going to take a series of stills so that uh, you can see what it's like. So far, it's uh, quite a bit ahead, I think, of last year at about this time. That's my observation. I think the melt-off is going really well. So 
Let's head up on around towards Summerland and see what happens. Well, last year at this time, there was enough snow for me to just go all the way around up the avalanche chute. But uh, the snow levels were too low this time, so I ended up branching left and kind of uh, finding a gully to make my way up over the hill. This part of the trail can be a little bit tricky, and you do need to uh, exercise caution when you're going up uh, some of these snow ramps. As I'm paralleling or going up this creek bed, I always made sure that I was never hiking directly over the creek because, of course, you don't want to fall through uh, underneath and get trapped uh, in the rushing water underneath the snow. That's a very dangerous condition. You'll notice later on, especially when I actually show it in the video, that I'm just wearing a pair of trail running shoes. And with the snow conditions consolidated and soft as they are right now, I had no problems on any of these sections all the way across the uh, Panhandle Gap area to get enough edging with basic running shoes to uh, have plenty of grip, uh, even going up this gully, which got a little bit steep in a few places. Once cresting the major part of this uh, hill and then just circling around to uh, get over to Summerland, I was really amazed at the essential lack of snow. I expected a lot more to be up here. It's really, really thin. On the still series I compiled, I had the camera set to take a photo every second. And then when I compiled it into a video, I did 10, 10 frames per second. So essentially every second, every 10 seconds that I spend on the trail is condensed down to one second for viewing and that makes for pretty fast hiking. Same marmots around here, having a little tussle. To me, the beauty of using a series of still shots is that you can see practically every foot that I traveled on the trail uh, without having to take the time to do video. So this way, there are no gaps, and essentially, I'm going to show you from Summerland all the way up uh, pretty much over the Panhandle Gap. Going to see a lot of red and pink stuff on the snow in these shots and what you're looking at is called watermelon snow it's actually green algae and it has a secondary red pigment it's uh, cryophilic meaning that it's cold and loving so it thrives in freezing water it's pretty much present uh, over this entire hike The regular creek crossing is still covered by quite a bit of snow up in this area.
I filmed this sequence specifically so that people can see exactly uh, what the snow condition travels are, are like if you're traveling in trail running shoes, which is all that I had, and I never even put on gaiters for the entire day. You can see that you don't sink very much. You have pretty good purchase. Uh, when it's, the weather's this warm, uh, the snow is soft enough to be able to edge just fine. Since these shoes aren't waterproof and I knew I was going to be spending the majority of the day in snow conditions, I did put on some waterproof socks just to keep my feet uh, relatively dry. I had to throw in my semi-panoramic video shot just because the day was so incredible with great skies and a pretty interesting landscape. When you're watching these three camera shots, remember that it's actually wrapping around more than 180 degrees. I figure I'm getting somewhere between 240 and 270 degrees of viewing angle. Now, from this point as I was ascending up towards Panhandle Gap, I did notice two figures that were descending. And when I stopped to talk to them, it turned out that Paul and Lisa uh, were on their second day of a Wonderland trail hike and they were, had actually turned around. Getting up to the gap, they weren't quite sure where it was. They looked over at all the snow and they decided to uh, can it and they were going to go back to their car and drive around to the Longmire side. So I asked them if they wanted me to take them across the Panhandle Gap and over to the point where we could actually... Uh, see their destination of Indian Bar in the distance, and uh, they decided to do it. I hadn't really planned on going past uh, the Panhandle Gap for today, but it was no big deal just to go the extra mile or two or three or whatever it is to get over to that side because the day was so great. And I have a soft spot for dads and daughters that are out hiking. So how could I deny? Obligatory snorts, sorry.
It was no problem ascending up over Panhandle Gap and uh, over to the other side where the descent starts for Indian Bar. Soak it in while you can. So I saw Paul and Lisa off after I got some great elk jerky from Paul. And I wish them the best of luck on the rest of their Wonderland trail hike. They're early in the season, but I hope it's successful for them. Well, I hadn't planned on coming this far or staying out this long. It's about 12.45 and Paul and Lisa look like they're on their way. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna go back to uh, Summerland and uh, finish this puppy off on the return. Maybe get a little glissade in going down the, uh, from the Panhandle Gap. I've included some shots on the trip back to the Panhandle Gap so that you could see how the travel conditions are. Same, the snow is really good for edging, great footing and you can actually make pretty good time going across here. There was one rock showing, I had to avoid that, but basically to glissade the gap at this time of year, I wanted to stay well right of the overhanging cornice. Oh, and that other camera that I have out to the right, it never turned on for some reason, so I don't have that shot. Boy, I'm really hot. That last part uh, descending was pretty steamy. But I'm going to sum up what I've seen today. Um, the best thing anybody really wants to, if they want to compare the differences between this year and last year, because a lot of people are saying that, hey, we've got just as much snow this year, but that may be true in some elevations and some areas, but the uh, current conditions are vastly different from this time last year. So after you watch this, uh, the best thing I can do instead of uh, digging out old uh, video from last year and putting it in and everything is just go to williswell.com and find uh, on the left hand column, the column that says past updates and look at the uh, video for, mm, I think it might be 720, 2011 and that'll give you a really good comparison as to how it is this year uh, versus last year. I mean we are feet ahead. Wonderland trail hikers this year take heed and rejoice because it's a lot better than it was last year and those starting especially in August are gonna have a little bit of snow but more normal conditions that you'd find year in and year out. Okay this is Steve from Willis Wall, and I'm signing off from Summerland.